we're going to generalize that a simple example with the poker hand into one that's a little more complex. And in this case, we're going to enumerate. So example two here is you have a one, five, ten, and hundred dollar bill to invest in three stocks. And the three stocks are AT&T, Boeing, and Coke. So I chose A, B, and C, just to keep things simple. And we have the four different bills. How many ways are there to invest two bills in AT&T, one in Boeing, and one in Coke? So the notation I'm going to use for this particular enumeration is O will be the $1 bill, F for the $5 bill, T for the $10 bill, and H for the $100 bill. That's just to keep the notation a little bit tighter. We're going to let the bills on the left correspond to the two that go into AT&T. The bill between the bars, or in the middle here, is an investment in Boeing. And the bill on the right corresponds to an investment in Coke. So let's look at one of these strategies here. I did it this way. So what we do is we put the $1 and the $5 bill into AT&T. So that's a total of $6 invested in AT&T. Then we put the $10 bill in Boeing. And here the $100 bill goes into Coke. And so if you're just organized and careful, you'll see that there are 12 possible investment strategies. You can see that if we had more things we could invest and more places to invest them, that this would quickly blow up and so we'll need a theorem to uh, determine how many will be here so we don't have to enumerate each time.